merciful, holy and merciful. Father, we confess to you most merciful, holy and merciful Father, we confess to you and to one another and to the whole communion of saints in heaven and on earth that we have sinned by our own fault in thought, word and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart and mind and strength. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We have not forgiven others as we have been forgiven. Have mercy on us. We have been deaf to your call to serve as Christ served us. We have not been true to the mind of Christ. We have grieved your Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us, Lord. We confess to you, Lord, all our past unfaithfulness, the pride, hypocrisy, the impatience of our lives. We confess you Lord our self-indulgent appetites and ways our exploitation of other people we confess to you Lord our anger at our own frustration and our envy of those more fortunate than ourselves we confess to you Lord love of worldly goods and comforts and our dishonesty in daily life and work we confess to you Lord our negligence in prayer and worship and our failure to commend the faith that is in us we confess to you Lord Accept our repentance, Lord, for the wrongs we have done, for our blindness to human need and suffering, and our indifference to injustice and cruelty. Accept our repentance, Lord, for all false judgments, for uncharitable thoughts towards our neighbors, and for our prejudice and contempt toward those who differ from us, accept our repentance, Lord. For our waste and pollution of your creation, and our lack of concern for those who come after us, accept our repentance, Lord. Restore us, good Lord, and let your anger depart from us. Favorably hear us, for your mercy is great. Accomplish in us the work of your salvation, that we may show forth your glory in the world. By the cross and passion of your Son, O Lord, bring us with all your saints to the joy of his resurrection. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who desires not the death of sinners, but rather that they may turn from their wickedness and live, has given power and commandment to his ministers to declare and pronounce to his people, being penitent, the absolution and remission of their sins. He pardons and absolves all who truly repent. With sincere hearts, believe his holy gospel. Therefore, we beseech him, to grant us true repentance and his Holy Spirit that those things may please him which we do on this day and that the rest of our life hereafter may be pure 
and holy. And so that at last we may come to his eternal joy. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.